Arnold Wilkins, my husband, worked out the whole experiment from start to finish himself. And on February the 25th, 1935, he came to this field and the aeroplane came over and they were able to follow the track. First there was a very faint blip and then a beat, but it was exactly the signal they were waiting for and it was a triumphant success. I have felt for some years that there was no uh, public recognition of the work that was done in radar during the war. And so, with the help of Mr. Rex Boys, we got this gathering together. And the amazing thing is that so many people were able to be here. A time in history has now been reached when nobody under the age of about 60 can be expected to have any memories of the Second World War and there's, there's quite a sprinkling of us here today. Now in 1985 the BBC made a programme on the 50th anniversary of the 1935 experiment and associated with that Marconi's commissioned a painting to illustrate the event. The man who commissioned that painting, John Parr, and the artist himself, Roy Huxley, are both here today. And I'll let you into a little secret. Today is the first time that artist ever visited this site. He, he worked from sketches and actually, in all honesty, he produced a better picture than he would have done had he seen the site. Now I'm going to introduce Jane Braley, who is the public relations advisor for Kinetic Limited, who've given us the money for this. So she's going to tell you a little about their part in it. Jane? Thanks, Rex. Thank you very much. Um, I'm absolutely delighted and very, very proud to be here today for the unveiling ceremony. Um, all the hard work that Rex um, has done um, with the help of many, many people. Um, we've really played a very small part at Kinetic. Um, but from our point of view, it's marvellous to see that there are people with such enthusiasm as Rex and the massive network of people who are involved with events such as this and you know the cause of radar um, and to be actually working in Kinetic, a large organisation, but one which is taking forward the roots from radar that was started by Rex and his colleagues and his forefathers. We're actually taking it forward and we're actually doing a lot of good with it now as well. But I'm not going to harp on. I'm going to hand over to, to, to Rex to introduce Tim. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just to say that we're very pleased and proud to have with us today the MP for Daventry and District, Tim Boswell. And he's going to have a few words, uh, as if you could stop him being a politician. Well, Rex, it won't be many. But I find this absolutely fascinating. Not least because I didn't know, having been by this site, probably thousands of times in the last few years, exactly what the associations were. Of course, we come into Arnold Wilkins, who, uh, as it were, inspired with other even better known names, this radar experiment. And from that has become the whole technology which has enlivened, protected and changed the world. And then we have Rex Boys, who was associated with this sort of thing in wartime and has Daventry links and has gone on to write it up and inspire today's event which is very well attended so that is about individuals and their enthusiasms and the way they've built on their observations and on the work of others to make something really worthwhile and important but I think my final point is to acknowledge the way in which that discovery that observation and that scientific intuition was taken forward very quickly administratively and turned into a major element in the war effort in the Second World War. Within four years we were using this effectively to direct the Battle of Britain which we all already also commemorate today. That now just leaves the actual act of unveiling the memorial and um, when I first set out to find out just where this site was, uh, somebody said, well, don't, why don't you ask Nancy Wilkins? And she's come all this way, and she's a delightful personality, and I have great pleasure in asking her to 
perform the ceremony. Now I have great pleasure in being here today for many reasons. But one of the first things I want to do is to pay tribute to Rex Boys because he really has worked tremendously hard to get to this point, this delightful occasion today. The work has been such, and his resolution and determination has been such, that he needs a special clap from all of us. It is to the work of two distinguished scientists that we know <coughs> radar as it is today. And the first is Robert Watson Watt, who with his scientific vision had persuaded himself that if this particular test done just over there in that field was a success, it had terrific potential to help the defense of this country. The second is my husband, Arnold Wilkins, who alone, in great secrecy, designed and built the apparatus. And he also worked out and conducted the whole experiment. It was from the work and the deep thought of both these men to bring this experiment to its very exciting and triumphant conclusion. I think that the um, honor we should uh, pay to these people is remarkable, but I have another group of people that I am overjoyed to be able to praise today, and that is the host of radar workers during the war. It, no matter what capacity, from the brilliant scientists down to the newest recruit, they did their country a very great service. I think they are worthy of our praise and admiration, and they haven't had enough of it. I want you to honor the work of all these people, and it is with the greatest pleasure now that I come to unveil this memorial to the birth of radar. <laughs>